Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim. Assalamu Alaikum viewers. My name is Muhammad Ahmed Qureshi, and uh, currently I'm uh, living in Nottingham, which is in the East Midlands area of uh, United Kingdom. Uh, I served in government of Pakistan for the period of over 22 years, and then I came here for my uh, some uh, qualification, improvement of qualification. And uh, my family joined after three months here, and I have wife and two daughters. And since then, I'm here in the uh, UK, and uh, well, I'm associated with the charity business here in the UK since last five years after completion of my education, and uh, I'm a resident of uh, United Kingdom as well. Uh, what happened uh, with me in the in, in the month of December last year, when my wife? Uh, Certainly, she complained about a uh, gland on the right-hand side of her neck and uh, she visited her uh, GP and the GP uh, sensed that it's, it's, a, it's sort of a, some serious nature of this gland is and she referred her to the uh, ENT specialist, uh, to the QMC, which is the best local hospital in Nottingham, uh, Queen's Medical Centre. She went there and uh, visited her. Uh, ENT specialist who again referred her to the uh, laboratory for her uh, scan. Uh, well, during the scan, they said, Well, it's, it's not uh, visible and uh, it's not, uh, they couldn't reach uh, to, the, to the conclusion of what sort of this gland is. So they said that we have to take some sample out of this gland and we need to send it to, uh, to, to the laboratory for its test. That, for the purpose of biopsy. Uh, after two weeks, uh, uh, crucial time which we spent and we were thinking what, what sort of this problem uh, could be, uh, we received a letter from the hospital that you need to urgently see your consultant who's, who has received your reports. Uh, we went there and uh, we, when we entered into the room, the consultant was sitting next to him, the nurse was sitting was sitting and after looking into the file he stayed away uh, said to my wife that i'm sorry to say but you have got the c8 cancer uh, well they are on the both sides of your neck and uh, it was uh, the thyroid cancer they diagnosed it and well the lump was on both sides the right and the left but the, on the left hand side the lumps the size of the lumps were were too small, so he said that I will touch on the right hand side, but you need to, to have operation at your earliest, otherwise we'll not be able to stop this problem at the latest stage. So you have to decide now. We cannot give you time to go back home and think over that when you are coming for the operation, no. You have to decide just now that when you are going through the surgery. Well, uh, we discussed uh, at the same time, there was, there was no option. We said, yeah, well, it's up to you. You look into your diary and decide that uh, when we are going to uh, uh, to have the earliest operation. So he checked his diary and gave us the date of, uh, we still remember the date, it was 23rd of January. Uh, well, we, we well, were really upset, especially my wife, and uh, she start, started crying at the same time. And uh, well, she's with me, but because she is a Muslim lady and she's, uh, she wears hijab and she doesn't want to come in front of the camera, that's why being a husband, I am explaining on her behalf, in fact. Uh, she really uh, was looking in, in, into this disease very seriously because I lost my wife, because uh, sorry, my, my mother, because of the uh, ovarian cancer. And before that, uh, sorry, after the death of my mother, uh, I lost my brother uh, to the uh, liver cancer disease. So she knew what cancer exactly means is. It's what these, the serious nature of the cancer is. And at the same time, the ages of my two daughters, the elder one is just six years of age and the younger one is three years of age. So I cannot tell in words that how depressive that period was uh, from the end of December till uh, the end of January when this operation actually happened. In the meanwhile, I contacted one of my friends uh, who was with me on Hajj in 2009. 
and uh, I said, well, uh, I'm very much depressed and uh, the whole environment, of, uh, obviously, of my home is depressed because of my wife's illness and uh, he asked me what sort of illness is I, when I explained him that uh, she has got the cancer, he said, uh, Amir Bhai, you are really blessed because uh, luckily we have Fapir Usman uh, mm -hmm. who's sitting next to me uh, now in Birmingham at, uh, at the moment. So he was there in Burnley, which was which is a small town next to Manchester. So he was there, and he said that uh, I have experienced that many people uh, having cancer problem and other serious diseases, for which doctors says that you don't have the uh, don't have any chance of uh, getting it cured, and uh, uh, he is the one who do some spiritual healing process and. More than 3,000 patients have been 100% fully recovered. So it's better you contact him. I have his contact number with me. So you contact him uh, because probably he's having two weeks now here in or one week in UK because he travels around the world to do this uh, spiritual healing process and sometimes in Straits, sometimes in Canada, in Middle East. So he's traveling all the time. And, uh, well, I asked him one question, which I will not I mean, forget at this time, or I want to mention. Does it take money? Because when we add peer in the start or in the, in the, at the end of the name, so we expect that peers, normally, they get money for something which they are giving. And I personally have no belief in on those peer who takes money. So I asked him this question that uh, I'm very particular about money. So does he take money for this treatment? He said, no. I said, now give me his number. Definitely, I will contact him. So I contacted Peter Swansa and uh, luckily he was in Burnley. He spoke to me and he said, well, uh, I need the name of your wife and uh, her uh, mom and I will do his Tahara at night and I will tell you in the morning, early morning. I said, fine, I gave, gave him the name and when he, uh, I, I con contacted him uh, next morning uh, whatever he described in words, actually my wife says, because he, she was, she was uh, speaking to him uh, over the phone, she was saying that it was like a movie which was running in front of my eyes. Whatever I had internally, he was telling me like uh, everything which was in, inside my body. And uh, well, then he said, yes, you have got 100% cured inshallah treatment through this uh, spiritual healing treatment. So. It would be possible for you to come down to Sunday because he uh, he was doing this uh, spiritual healing process on uh, Sunday Sundays uh, in in Burnley. So we went down there and there was a huge crowd there. So more than two hundred people were there in 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 waiting. Both of us up around 100, 150 on the on the male side and um, equal amount of uh, uh, people. On the other side, and we saw very serious nature of uh, patients there uh, at that, that place. Some were coming on wheelchairs, some were having some clutches, and so some were lifted by their other close loved ones, relatives. So it was very depressive uh, uh, environment there. So suddenly we saw I mean, the PSA who came in, and uh, so he's very jolly sort sort of a person. So he doesn't. Uh, appear like the, the typical Pisa and uh, at the same time he was doing some uh, psychotherapies uh, of, of patients by laughing with them, right, having jokes with them and uh, well he didn't, he, he, he was not treating them that they are very serious patient and they should lose their hope, hope that they are, they will be, there will be no more in this world after some time no. and there were some patients uh, who were saying that doctors uh, have uh, in the past uh, said well we are not hopeful so this is better you you go back to your home leave hospital so we do not because we do not have any treatment for you so it's better you stay at home uh, and whatever the the life you have uh, with you left over so you enjoy that life uh, well but Peter Saab on the other hand he was I've been mean, joking with this uh, patient. He was saying, oh, no, it's nothing wrong with you. You'll be all right after six uh, uh, these uh, uh, healing processes, eight, 10, 12, whatever he was saying for different types of patients according to their serious nature of illnesses. Uh, well, to my wife, uh, he said, you have, uh, uh, you, you have 
to have 20 dams, isn't it? We said 20. So he, he said 20 dams, you, you need to have this uh, uh, therapies. So Alhamdulillah, we had two, three on that uh, day. And uh, it was quite a long process, in fact. And uh, uh, we came down with the hope that inshallah will be okay. Uh, what happened is that then, because he was living for Pakistan, and uh, he referred us to one of his uh, students, uh, who is an uh, employee of NHS and in the, very close to our uh, Nottingham and she's residing in Derby. So he asked us to, to contact her for this uh, uh, treatment. And uh, Alhamdulillah, we continued uh, that treatment. Uh, well, he asked me not to go through this uh, surgery procedure because I'm sure that 100% your wife will cure and you don't need this uh, uh, see operation. At the same time, he said, but if the doctor uh, asked you to go through this surgery, ask him to do the biopsy first, and then if he finds this cancer symptom, then operate her. But uh, the system where we are living is entirely different from other countries. So we could not refuse because of the serious nature of the illnesses. But uh, today I'm admitting in front of this camera that uh, I lied in to Peter, I said, well, we are not going through the surgery, but actually we went through. And he phoned me on that particular day when actually this uh, uh, surgery was happening. And he said, I have saw in the dream that your wife has been declared that she is, is not having any symptom of cancer. So she is absolutely perfectly all right. And I said, well, yes, today they have taken out the, the whole, I mean, lump from the right hand side and they have sent to the lab for biopsy. So as soon as we receive the report, I will let you know, Pisa. And uh, Alhamdulillah, well, again, it was a long period because we came back after the surgery next day uh, at home. But the period of another two weeks uh, till the time we received this biopsy report from the hospital and obviously after, the, after, having, uh, after meeting I mean, this uh, consultant, it was again a very, very stressful, very painful uh, uh, time because, you know, uh, your beliefs needs some concrete uh, evidence. And we were looking forward to, towards that evidence that when this evidence of doctor would come into our hand and we would say, well, because of this healing process of Pirsa, it has, uh, it has been proved that she is not having the, 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 this cancer problem. So after two weeks, uh, when we waited and we went there uh, for the appointment and uh, met with the consultant, he said, congratulations, straight away he looked into the file and said, congratulations, you do not have any symptom of cancer. Absolutely, it wasn't a, a, a thyroid cancer, it was simply a gland which has been removed and there's no need to check the small gland which is on the left hand side because it's not a cancer. So all praises to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala who blessed my wife with the, uh, the, uh, the name of uh, the, um, uh, this uh, health, 100% uh, um, uh, cure and health. And I'm grateful to Pisa who himself solely bear all these expenses of traveling. And he travels around the world to spread this, this uh, one of the biggest blessings of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala without charging even a single penny from anybody. And he doesn't uh, expect at the same time that somebody would give him some money. No, because Alhamdulillah, he's, he himself is blessed by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. He's, mashallah, a big landlord in Pakistan. He doesn't need anything from anybody. But whatever he is doing, he is doing for the humanity. He, he knows the suffering of human being around the world. He knows people, how people are suffering from this killing disease and how people are dying by thinking of this disease psychologically they are they are dying because of this problem alhamdulillah alhamdulillah so alhamdulillah allah has blessed us blessed him with this power which uh, alhamdulillah he is spreading around the world and getting those people out of danger out of those problems in which people have have spent in millions and even then they couldn't save lives. So now I'm repenting why I, I was in Pakistan when my mother had I mean, this uh, uh, ovarian cancer. Why I didn't know. This is a shame for me, but I was in Pakistan and I didn't know him. 
and he was uh, uh, living very close to me in Pakistan but I was living in Multan and he was close to Bhagalpur which is hardly one and a half or two hours uh, drive from there and I couldn't meet him otherwise uh, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala could I mean give my uh, mother I mean uh, cure from this uh, killing disease but it's a fate it's a fate Allah whatever the, the age she had uh, Allah, Allah completed that age and uh, called her back may Allah bless her uh, in heaven but I would uh, really uh, like to to I mean through this message I would like everyone to please spread out this message to all humanities to all hospitals to all suffering all people who are suffering uh, from this killing disease and at the same time it's it's not only Muslims who needs to come and see him please Please take a note of this that all, not only Muslims need to see him, all non-Muslims, even all non-believers also should, must see him. Because Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has blessed Peter Span with this, this blessing, the biggest blessing which he is spreading around the world. So this is my message. Thank you very much for your time, for your patience, listening to me. Thank you very much.